Welcome to the World of Faith, one of seven worlds in Seven World Productions, a subsidiary of Angel Grant Music. My name is Gino, and I am sole owner of Angel Grant Music, as well as executive director of Seven World Productions. Continuing our series in search of faith from our world of faith, here is the next chapter, Hinduism. Hinduism. Hinduism is an Indian religion. It's a way of life. It is the world's third largest religion with over 1.2 billion followers, or 15 to 16 percent of the global population are known as Hindus. The word Hindu is an exonym, and while Hinduism has been called the oldest religion in the world, Many practitioners refer to their religion as Sanatana Dharma. Sanskrit is the language that they are speaking, which refers to the idea that its origins lie beyond human history as revealed in the Hindu texts. Another, though less fitting, self-designation is Vaidika Dharma, the Dharma related to the Vedas. Hinduism is a diverse system of thought marked by a range of philosophies and shared concepts, rituals, cosmological systems, pilgrimage sites, and shared textual sources that discuss theology, metaphysics, mythology, Vedic rituals, and temple building, among other topics, are also included. Prominent themes in Hindu beliefs include the four Purusharthas, the proper goals or aims of human life, namely ethics, duties, prosperity, work, desires, passions, liberation, freedom from the passions, and the cycle of death and rebirth, as well as karma. Hinduism prescribes the eternal duties such as honesty, refraining from injuring living beings, patience, forbearance, self-restraint, virtue, and compassion, among others. Hindu practices include rituals such as worship and recitations, meditation, family-oriented rites of passage, annual festivals, and occasional pilgrimages. Along with the practice of various yogas, some Hindus leave their social world and material possessions and engage in lifelong monasticism in order to achieve moksha, which is enlightenment. Hindu texts are classified into shruti, which is heard, and shmirti, which is remembered. The major scriptures of which are the Vedas, the Puranas, the Ramayana, and the Agamash. There are six schools of Hindu philosophy who recognize the authority of the Vedas. While the Puranic chronology, chronology presents a genealogy of thousands of years, starting with the Vedic, scholars regard Hinduism as a fusion or synthesis of Brahmanical orthopraxy with various Indian cultures having diverse roots and no specific founder. This Hindu synthesis emerged after the Vedic period between 500 and 200 BC. In the period of the second urbanization and the early classical period of Hinduism, when the epics and the first Puranas were composed, it flourished in the medieval period with the decline of Buddhism in India. Currently, the four major denominations of Hinduism are Vaishnavism, Shaivism, Shaktism, and the Shmarta tradition. Sources of authority and eternal truths in the Hindu texts play an important role, but there is also a strong Hindu tradition of questioning authority in order to deepen 
the understanding of these truths and to further develop the tradition. Hinduism is the most widely professed faith in India, Nepal, and Mauritius. Significant numbers of Hindu communities are found in Southeast Asia, including Bali, Indonesia, the Caribbean, North America, Europe, Oceania, Africa, and other regions. The word Hindu is derived from an Indo-Aryan Sanskrit root, Sindhu. The proto-Iranian sound changes the S to the H occurred between 850 and 600 BC. The use of the English term Hinduism to describe a collection of practices and beliefs is a fairly recent construction. It was first used by Raja Ram Mohan Roy in 1816 and 1817. The term Hinduism was coined around 1830 by those Indians who opposed British colonialism and who wanted to distinguish themselves from other religious groups. Before the British began to categorize communities strictly by religion, Indians generally did not define themselves exclusively through their religious beliefs. Instead, identities were largely segmented on the basis of locality, language, occupation, and sect. In the 18th century, the European merchants and colonists began to refer to the followers of Indian religions collectively as Hindus. The word Hindu is much older and it is believed that it was used as the name for the Indus River in the northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent. According to Gavin Flood, the actual term Hindu first occurs as a Persian geographical term for the people who lived beyond the river Indus, more specifically in the 6th century before Christ during Darius. The term Hindu in these ancient records is a geographical term and did not refer to a religion. Among the earliest known records of Hindu with connotations of religion may be in the 7th century BC in the Chinese text record of the western regions by Zhang, and 14th century Persian text Futuhu Salatin by Abdul Malik Ishmael. Thapar states that the word Hindu is found as an equivalent to the Ravidic Saptasindu, while pronounced Hindustan is found in a Sasanian inscription from the 3rd century BC, both of which refer to parts of northwestern South Asia. The term Hindu was later used occasionally in some Sanskrit texts, such as the later uh, Rayatara, the genies of Kashmir, and some 16th to 18th century texts, including Shatanyi and Shatanyi Bhagavata. These texts used it to distinguish Hindus from Muslims, who are called Yamanas, which means foreigners or barbarians. It was only towards the end of the 18th century that European merchants and colonists began to refer to the followers of Indian religions collectively as Hindus. The term Hinduism was introduced into the English language in the 18th century to denote the religious, philosophical, and cultural traditions native to India. Hinduism includes a diversity of ideas on spirituality and traditions, but has no ecclesiastical order, no unquestionable religious authorities, no governing body, no prophet, nor any binding holy book. Because of the wide range of traditions and ideas covered by the term Hinduism, arriving at a comprehensive definition is difficult. The religion defies our desire to define and categorize it. Hinduism has been variously defined as a religion, a religious tradition, a set of religious beliefs, and a way of life. From a Western lexical standpoint, Hinduism, like other faiths, 
is appropriately referred to as a religion. In India, the term Dharma is preferred, which is broader than the Western term religion. The study of India and its cultures and religions and the definition of Hinduism has been shaped by the interests of colonialism and by Western notions of religion. Since the 1990s, those influences and its outcomes have been the topic of debate among scholars of Hinduism and have also been taken over by critics of the Western view on India. Hinduism, as it is commonly known, can be subdivided into a number of major currents. Of the historical division into six philosophies, two schools are currently the most prominent, the Vedanta and the Yoga. Classified by primary deity or deities, four major Hinduism modern currents are the Shiva, the Vishnu, the Devi, and the Smartism. Hinduism also accepts numerous divine beings, with many Hindus considering the deities to be aspects or manifestations of a single impersonal absolute or ultimate reality of God, while some Hindus maintain that a specific deity represents the supreme and various deities are lower manifestations of this supreme. Other notable characteristics include a belief in the existence of reincarnation of one's atma and karma as well as a belief in dharma which is duties rights laws conduct virtues and right way of living the philosopher mcdonald mcdaniel classifies hinduism into six major kinds and numerous minor kinds in order to understand the expression of emotions among the hindus the major kinds, according to McDaniel, are folk Hinduism, based on local traditions and cults of local deities, and is the oldest non-literate system. The Vedic, based on the earliest layers of the Vedas, traceable to the second millennium before Christ. Vedanic Hinduism is based on the philosophy of the Upanishads, emphasizing knowledge and wisdom. Yogic Hinduism, following the text of Yoga Sutras, emphasizing introspective awareness. Dharmic Hinduism, or daily morality, which McDaniel states is stereotyped in some books as the only form of Hindu religion with a belief in karma, cows, and taste, and bhakti, or dev devotional Hinduism, where intense emotions are elaborately incorporated in the pursuit of the spiritual. Michaels distinguishes three hidden religions and four forms of Hindu religiosity. The three Hindu religions are Brahmanic, Sanskritic Hinduism, folk religions and tribal religions, and founded religions. The four forms of Hindu religiosity are the classical Karma Marga, the Bhakti Marga, and Heroism which is rooted in militaristic traditions. These militaristic traditions include Ramaism, the worship of a hero of epic literature, Rama, believing him to be an incarnation of Vishnu, and parts of political Hinduism. Heroism is also called Viryamarga. According to Michaels, one out of nine Hindu belongs by birth to one or both of these Sanskritic Hinduism and folk religion typology, whether practicing or non-practicing. He classifies most Hindus as belonging by choice to one of the founded religions, such, such as Vaishnavism and Shaivism that are much focused and often de-emphasize Brahmin priestly authority, yet incorporate ritual grammar he includes among founded religions Buddhism, Yonism, Sikhism, that are now distinct religions. Indian states that the Indian states that the attempt to classify Hinduism by typology started in the imperial times when proselytizing missionaries and colonial officials sought to understand
and portray Hinduism from their interests. Hinduism was construed as emanating not from a reason of spirit, but fantasy and creative imagination, not conceptual, but symbol symbolical, not ethical, but emotive, not rational or spiritual, but of cognitive mysticism. This stereotype followed and fit, states Inden, with the imperial imperatives of the era, providing the moral justification for the colonial project. From tribal animism to Buddhism, everything was subsumed as part of Hinduism. The early reports set the tradition and scholarly premises for the topology of Hinduism, as well as the major assumptions and flawed presuppositions that have been at the foundation of Indology. Hinduism, according to Indian, has been neither what imperial religion has stereotyped it to be, nor is it appropriate to equate Hinduism to be merely the, the monist pantheism and philosophical idealism. Next time, we'll talk about some Hindu views in their Dharma and all the various different dharmas and the modernism of Hinduism. If you like this episode, click like and leave comments so that we can discuss this further. Uh, also, if you'd like, uh, please subscribe and that way you'll receive email notifications of future episodes in this world and other worlds. Try out our other worlds, the wonderful world of art the world of books, the world of food, the world of family, the world of games, and the world of music. Go and be inspired.